Hi guys, I am here with your Bible reading actually for December 2nd. Been really busy. Um, we haven't been to bed yet. It is after 1 in the morning. I wanted to get it done before midnight, of course, but like I said, we were really busy. We went to town. Well, I went to town today, and Sherm was here doing stuff, and it's been a long, long day. We had a lot to do when we got home, and still ain't done yet. Still got a, probably a couple, few more hours of work to do before we go to bed. But um, I'm going to get the Bible reading done um, right now for um, December 2nd, and then I'm going to go ahead after this and do the one for today, December 3rd as well, so I don't by any chance get it up late again tomorrow because I don't like doing that, you know, and I've done it the last couple of days and I don't like that. So I'm going to have it up early and then I'm going to post um, today's December 3rd to the page for you guys. Okay. Let's get started with First John chapter 2 verse 18 through chapter 3 verse 16. Warnings against denying the Son, which of course by the Son they mean Jesus. <clears throat> Dear children, this is the last hour, and as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come. This is how we know it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But their going showed that none of them belonged to us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you know the truth. I do not write to you because you do not know the truth, but because you do know it, and because no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar? It is whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Such a person is the Antichrist, denying the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever acknowledges the Son has the Father also. As for you, see that what you have heard from the beginning remains in you. If it does, you also will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he promised us, eternal life. I am writing these things to you about those who are trying to lead you astray. As for you, the anointing you received from him remains in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you all about all things, and as the anointing is real, not counterfeit, just as it has taught you, Remain in Him. Like the Bible says, you have to have Jesus in order to get to God, our Father. If you don't know Jesus, you're not going to know God. You have to, if you want to get to God, you have to go through Jesus, the Son. He's the only way to heaven. Jesus is the only way. Now let's get into the last of chapter 2 here, and then we'll be going into chapter 3, talking about God's children and sin. And now, dear children, continue in him, so that when he appears, we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who does what is right has been born of him. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known, 
but we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him, and he is. All who have this hope in him purify themselves as he is pure. Everyone who sins breaks the law. In fact, sin is lawlessness, but you don't know that he appeared so that he might take away our sins. You know that. And in him is no sin. No one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. No one who is born of God will continue to sin, because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning, because they have been born of God. This is how we know who the children of God are, and who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not God's child, nor is anyone who does not love their brother and sister. Ending um, today with um, that chapter 3 part uh, is more on love and hatred. For this is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Do not be like Cain, who belonged to the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own actions were evil and his brothers were righteous. Do not be surprised, my brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love each other. Anyone who does not love remains in death. Anyone who hates a brother or sister is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life residing in him. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. And that's where we're stopping with First John for December 2nd. I'm sorry, I got a pimple starting under my nose, and it's driving me crazy. It really hurts. I keep trying to pop it, but it's just making it worse. Okay. Our psalm today is psalm, or yesterday is Psalm 121. A song of acid. Sorry. I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. And that was Psalm 121. Short and simple, wasn't it? And beautiful. And we're ending um, the Bible reading for December 2nd with Proverbs chapter 28, verses 27 and 28. Those who give to the poor will lack nothing, but those who close their eyes to harm them will receive many curses. 
when the let me read that again. I'm sorry, but my eyes have been bothering me really bad at night. I really need to get my eyes checked. Okay. Proverbs 28, 27 says, Those who give to the poor will lack nothing, but those who close their eyes to them receive many curses. And Proverbs 28, 28 says, When the wicked rise to power, people go into hiding, but when the wicked perish, the righteous thrive. Okay, guys, that was the Bible reading for December 2nd. I am going to go to do today's Bible reading, December 3rd, here as soon as I get this posted. Um, I know I look like a, I don't know what. My hair, my hair tie broke and, ugh. Oh. I'm so tired. It's been a long day. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I will get this posted so I can get started on the other one. I hope you guys are all getting some sleep. I hope you're already sleeping. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys here in just another few minutes. <laughs> Bye, guys. God bless.